Good morning and welcome to beautiful Rosendale, Wisconsin yet again and here I am at the home of the Winnebago RC Flyers and we're going to do another engine test run here today. But first, let me put a few disclaimers on this engine run and what we're going to do and some other things first. So essentially because of the things I have chosen to do, other activities I've chosen to do with my life, I really only have one weekend a month available for me to make videos. Now with that said, what you're seeing in the videos I make is basically all I am doing in the hobby anymore. I do not sit around in my spare time, which I don't have a whole lot of anyway, playing with engines or disassembling them or doing anything. About the most time I'm going to be spending doing anything with engines in the near future is just taking them all out of boxes, taking pictures of them so I can make ads to list them all for sale. What this engine test or run is today is I'm going to be testing the Chinese counterfeit OS number 8 glow plug versus a genuine plug, which is brand new also. So I'm not saying that this test and what I'm going to do here today is an all-inclusive, comprehensive, fair test of this glow plug at all or the counterfeit glow plug. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is I'm just out here to have a little bit of fun and I'm going to run a couple of different plugs under as, the, as, as much the same conditions as humanly possible to eliminate any other variables. So with that said, here is my thoughts on what I'm going to do with this particular run. I've got my OS40 FP engine here. Now I chose this engine just because it's usually a OS 40 FPs are usually very good running, very reliable engines, and I didn't want an engine to be a variable in maybe RPM readings or whatever, so you could say, oh, well, look, that's the plug is wrong there. So I'm thinking I've got probably about the most stable, solid engine that I have to do a, a plug comparison right now. What I've got on here is an APC 10.6, and I've got approximately 5 to 7 percent nitro fuel. Now it is rather cool out here today, even though it's a beautiful day. It's probably 31, 32 degrees, but the lack of wind compared to yesterday when I was out here running the Moki makes a huge difference in the way it feels. So anyway, the first plug I've got in here is the genuine OS number eight plug. This is a new plug, just like the counterfeit plug is brand new. Now what my thoughts are on this is you can see how much fuel I've got in the tank. Now I've got a little bit more fuel I could top off the tank and do another run if possible, but my initial thoughts are this. Let's get this engine warmed up, and I'm not going to adjust the high speed needle, low speed, or anything. I'm just going to run the engine as it is, because the last time I ran this engine, it seemed to be running pretty well. It probably wasn't perfect, but I don't want any other variables in here. So I think it's tweaked out pretty good on the high end. I'm not gonna touch anything unless it just really doesn't look like it's running right. I want the engine to get up to operating temperature and see what the maximum RPM is for maybe 10, 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna bring it down to idle for, I don't know, a few seconds, and then go back up to full throttle for another 10 or 15 seconds and see if I can see at least that there's pretty consistent within the realm of accuracy of the tachometer and the way I hold it see if it's fairly consistent RPM range. And if it is, then I'll shut the engine off and I'll swap plugs out and we'll do the exact same thing. Like I said, I want to try and minimize variables as much as possible. And I'm only going to allow the engine to cool in the amount of time it takes me to pop a glow plug out and put it back, put the other one back in. So that's the parameters of this test. Let's just get on with it now. Okay, some of you may be saying, David, we've never seen you wear these kind of weird rubber gloves before. And the reason is because, believe it or not, I still have great feel for things with these gloves on. And they do provide at least some slight margin of warmth, if you can believe that. So let's see how this engine is going to fire. If I do have the lighter fluid, just in case this thing wants to be finicky, I'll just fire right up.
interesting. This is the the OS glow plug. Okay, I'm gonna have to adjust that high speed needle now. Okay, about 10,045 or so is what I was seeing there. I'm gonna call that a good uh, baseline for that genuine plug. That's nice and warmed up. I'm just gonna swap these things out real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna bother trying to get the washer or not. I want to try and spend as little time doing this as possible. Here I'm fumbling around with this damn thing already. Come here, Mr. Chinese counterfeit plug. Now I did do a quickie test on how the threads are, and I didn't see a difference. Both engine or both plugs looked threads were fine, they felt fine. No hang-ups, snags, or anything like that. I just gotta make sure I keep these well. I can tell the difference between the plugs, so that's not a problem. And believe it or not, this nitrile gloved hand was getting rather chilly. Okay, let's go here. What was that? 45 seconds a minute, maybe? Well, that's interesting. It didn't, I started in fuel. Wouldn't it be great if this plug completely died on us in this test?
Okay, this kicks ass. This is exactly what I was kind of hoping to see and I just didn't say it. Now I'm going to take this damn Chinese plug out. It's still nice and warm. Put the original OS back in and see if we can still get that good run and peak RPM with that other, the genuine plug or see if something's going different with the engine because right now it's really looking like that plug had major performance difference. This is the original plug again. One thing, somehow this had gotten set to um, three, three bladed prop. I don't recall when I did that, but obviously the engine wasn't sounding the same. Original OS, or genuine OS glow plug. Now that I've tweaked the high speed and we were seeing about 10,060, let me put this Chinese plug back in here and see if we can get the same type of readings now. Because it sure seemed like that plug was the reason that it wasn't operating properly then. But let's just do this again. segment right here okay so that was an interesting run and test 
Oh, my hand is really, really freaking cold right now. That's why I had to stop. So, the first half of the test when I ran the eight, the, the genuine plug, then the Chinese plug, something went different with the engine. Now, I don't believe it was the plug, but the engine, as you could see, was running fine. And then as soon as I put the Chinese plug in there, it started running like shit. And I'm like, ah, great. The Chinese plug sucks. But that didn't seem to be the case. It did, something went, changed in the engine, is all I can say. Because then when I put the OS Glow plug back in, the original, the genuine one, it ran exactly the same way. Not reaching hardly, what, 6,000, 7,000 RPM at full throttle. I was like, what the hell's going on here? Was there something in the fuel line that, you know, I don't know. All I know is that it was different and it wasn't the plug. So then I adjusted the high speed needle valve with the original or the genuine glow, OS glow plug in there and peaked it out around, I don't know, 10,060 or something like that. Or was it 10,600? I don't know. But it was anyway, it was that around there. Ran it, seemed pretty consistent. Put the Chinese counterfeit plug back in there and it did not act the same way initially. You could see it took a while for that Chinese plug to either heat up or something and at the very end there as I was really going at the very end it started getting up to that same RPM range as the OS number eight plug or the genuine plug did right off the bat so I think from this very limited very quick and dirty test I can see a difference I can feel a difference I can hear a difference I can see a difference in the way those two plugs operate now granted it is a cold day and that may be a factor also, but as I said, I've only got a week, one weekend a month to do things like this, so I have to do things under the conditions available to me. But from this one test, I could see a difference in how that counterfeit plug operated, and that could be the fact that the construction is slightly different, where the electrode isn't as thick or as long, and the coil is maybe not the same number of turns of wire who knows it may not even be the exact same type of material in there so i can see a difference now the issue is that if somebody new to the hobby doesn't really know and can't tell they may think they've got a very poor performing engine when it's really not the engine at all and it can also cause some confusion with trying to tune an engine if you don't have at least we assume that a glow plug is a variable is a is a set thing that it's going to be good well, that's not always the case so anyway this was an interesting interesting test run and uh, i hope you enjoyed watching it